Hi, uh, welcome to Everything Embedded. In this video, I want to talk about how to create applications in uh, C++ under Windows. Uh, especially, this can be useful, especially if you are a embedded developer, or uh, if, you know, I mean, if most of the embedded software is written in C++, and if it is connected to a Windows device then it is always an advantage to write some maybe some kind of a test UI or you know just to, for testing purposes to see or, or to or talk to the device itself so this skill can be very useful and especially in very large organizations or there is still a lot of code which is written in uh, C++ MFC and uh, with those kind of technologies so it's a useful skill to have. So maybe if you are one of those persons who finds himself in one of these strange situations where you are expected to write code in C++ for Windows. So maybe this video can be of useful, uh, of some help. So make sure to install Visual Studio. So I'm going to use Visual Studio uh, 2022, which is the latest one from Microsoft. And I'll show you how to create a simple uh, dialogue based application. We'll see what it means, but uh, make sure to install Visual Studio with C++ and MFC options. So I'll start Visual Studio. So I'm using 2022 version, which you can download from the Microsoft website. I'll provide the link in the description. And so how do we get started? How do we create a C++ application? So let's say go and say create a new project. And just type in C++ in the language list. And if you scroll down, there is an option called as MFC app, uh, build applications with complex user interface that run on Windows. Select that and say next. Give any name, uh, the default name should be fine for our purposes. Say create. And when you come to this screen in the application type, or in this video, for this video, we'll go for the simplest one. We'll cover this interesting uh, options in the next video, but let's select the simplest one, which is of them always, which is a dialogue based application. Let's select dialogue based application. Do we need to change anything here? We don't need anything to change here. Let's select with the default one and just go here and just click on the finish button. All right, so it should generate all the classes and everything for you to, for a dialogue based application, all the classes and everything, all the source code and all the files are here. So this is what will be shown. Uh, so this is your dialogue box, which will be shown on the screen when it's, once you run the application. And uh, we can, uh, what we can do is, if you want to say, put your own control in here, how to do that? So if you just go to say, go view, and just say view the toolbox, just choose toolbox. It will show you all the controls which are available for this dialog box. So let's uh, drag a button here. Let's say we want to show a button, put it on the dialog and we'll just remove this text here. I'll just press the delete button. So, and I'll just change the text on this one to say, press me or click me. I'll just type in here click me so and if you click on this it should just uh, display a prompt so how do we do that so to add code to for that just double click on this button we'll see what it does behind the scenes so it will generate a method for you called on bn click and here we'll just display a message box so say message box it for that matter and just give a caption for the window and this should be it so we are writing code 
So this is the class which is used CMFC application dialog and a method has been added on button click and in the message map an entry will be made what should happen so a message when you click on this button call this method so this is a very crucial part in any any MFC based application you should always look at the message map which is always at the most of the time it's always at the top of the file just look at this message map to see what is going on inside the class this will give you an entire clue what what is happening below so each time you add uh, make some changes to the ui uh, it will add entries here automatically all the entries will be made here so what do we do to run this application so just go and say build it rebuild or build the solution By the way, MFC is a very old technology, uh, around maybe 25 years old maybe. But uh, Microsoft has done a lot of changes behind the scenes to it. And uh, if you run it now, so we are running it on Windows 11 now. So you get a fancy looking uh, UI now, all made in C++, MFC. And if you hit the click me button, it just displays a pop-up window with the title my window and the text, everything embedded and we just OK button and you just close it. So this was the simplest dialog based application which you could and if you want to close this, just OK or cancel, just press them. Should will go ahead and close it. So this is the most simplest application which you can create in a C++ MFC uh, dialog based application. And why is this useful? Well, I think as I mentioned, most of the most of the embedded devices, uh, their software is written in uh, C++. And if you if they are connected to Windows, it is always good idea, especially for testing purposes, to write your UI or write uh, some kind of test applications in a C++ based environment. It is very easy to test your test your hardware device then. And once maybe it is production ready, then you can move on to newer technologies like .NET or maybe uh, Windows Presentation Foundation, uh, which is WPF. But maybe for initial purposes, C++ MFC should be good enough. And in most of the organizations, you will still find code which is written in C++. In C++. My, I worked for a very large organization. They had almost all their entire code base was in C++ and MFC. And they were making millions from it, really. So still they have a lot of code which is written in C++. It is still used in the outside world. So it's a good skill to, definitely a very good skill to have. So yeah, so always as I said, uh, and what are the source files? If you just go beneath the source file, just so these are the files which you should be worried about. And yeah, I think that should be it for this video. And I think I have just explained, this is a dialog based window. And in other uh, next videos, I will cover what is a single document interface and what is a multiple document interface windows that should make it more interesting and more challenging which uh, is not uh, uh, that easy to make but as i as said it should be a lot of fun for to create those kind of application and yeah so thanks very much for watching this video i will see you shortly in the next one thank you very much cheers bye bye